So welcome uh, and thank you for letting me interview you. Uh, first off, congratulations to winning a bunch of awards uh, over festivals in Europe and being nominated at least on tons of others. And uh, what's what's more to come there? Uh, yeah, you know, we are extremely happy and uh, it has been amazing, you know. Uh, this was, uh, I have to admit, I admit that, you know, this was nothing that we somehow expected. <laughs> but but you're happy about it, I think. <laughs> I, you That's know, I, I, I could, couldn't be more, you know, happy. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Um, so this movie has been taken a while. I, I've read the press um, material that uh, came out for Khan and um, since 2010, this movie is basically in the making. So can you tell us a little bit more about the journey? of this movie, especially finding the locations and getting this, the, these concepts together? Yeah, uh, you know, it, 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 me and Sean, we started working together, uh, I think, 2009. And before that, you know, I was uh, just making like a, a mood book or reference book, you know, with paintings and drawings and uh, uh, photos and all kinds of sketches. and. Uh, then my producers uh, introduced me to Sean, and uh, after I showed him the book, you know, we started like meeting like a once a week for for a very long time. You know, I think uh, after five years, uh, then we uh, just uh, did like uh, you know we we then we had the outline of the story. And uh, when, when uh, the producers were happy, he just took over and uh, wrote the first draft. And mm -hmm. then, uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, finding the location. It it took also a very long time because I had uh, a very special farm in mind. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, basically I, I had been driving, you know, a few times around Iceland and sending people some uh, drawings and uh, even, you know, photos of... Uh, the farm that I made out of clay and uh, <laughs> but you know and there were so many people helping us uh, looking for the right location and uh, my brother uh, found this one and uh, I remember you know when we went there for the first time and we saw that you know uh, all the surroundings we, was so beautiful and uh, also like uh, very in a way uh, scary and uh, nobody had lived in this house for 20 years. Okay, and what, was it a sheep, a sheep farm before or did you have to uh, improvise on that regard? No, it was a, it was a pig farm. Uh, but I think they ha also had some sheep. But in a way, you know what, uh, we mixed uh, all uh, that uh, in um, farms uh, close by. You know, there was a uh there was there was like one uh uh like 200 meters away that you know uh but all the interiors we shoot uh at the uh, different farms oh okay and um uh, was so basically the the the, the farm in, in flaga i think it was or flaga is the farm called yep. um is uh, that was for the surroundings for the nature is is that is that the same or did you have to use different spots as well for for the nature scenes no i think almost uh, all of it is just around there and you know uh the final scene we went a little bit up to the hill and you know so it's basically you know most most of the shooting were just at mm -hmm. Is, is this going to be an Airbnb now, so people can experience the lamb <laughs> movie? Oh, uh, you know, I I went there like uh, four, five days ago, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, they they had uh, sold it to a young farmer that I think will uh, you know hopefully live there. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah, that's that's pretty good. I mean, I, I, if if um, Iceland is on on my list to to travel there, I, I've never been, but uh, 
So, I mean, my many movies have been uh, filmed there and uh, yours now as well. And I really enjoyed it. So I definitely want to go to the farm and see the farm, <laughs> how the, the, the environment and this uh, movie was made, basically. That's really interested in that. <laughs> no, but there is a very interesting book about uh, all the locations uh, in Iceland and all the films. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, you yeah. should, uh, you know. You should get that one and travel around Iceland and see all the locations. I will definitely do that. Um, one question, though. Um, your movie has um, a lot of folk tales in there. Um, I, ha I, I, ch I was trying to look for the folk tales that um, you may be uh, inspired by, but uh, I didn't find anything in any interview. So um, can you let us in, in the little secret what, uh, what inspired you in terms of the folk tales there? It you know, uh, like the Icelandic folk tales, there there are so many, and there are, many of them are so similar. And mm -hmm. uh, but uh, there are no like a specific uh, story that you know that uh, you, you have all uh, you know have it all you know because the the creatures are are not in uh, our folk tales. So we just used like a very small elements, uh, mm -hmm. you know, for example, a uh, lot of things happened uh, on Christmas Eve, you know, in uh, mm -hmm. our stories, uh, the animals start talking or, you know, so it's a, uh, it's, it's a, uh, and maybe we were also trying to just come up with our own, like, full thing. All right. I think, I think you succeeded and definitely there. Um, <laughs> um, before I come to to a different to the symbolism that that I read into it a little bit here, I, I wanted to ask: if, are, are you going to make maybe a movie in uh, the future that folk uh, that that um, focuses on different folk tales? Is that something you're planning on? Yeah, I uh, you know I, I I'm just uh, very open for. Uh, I I think I I really want to do just all kinds of film, you know that. Uh, and it don't have to be, you know, similar to lamp in a way. So, uh, yeah, it, it just have to be something that I really, you know, like. <laughs> hmm. Okay, to totally understandable. Um, my, my take on this movie was, um, correct me if I'm wrong here, <laughs> that's what I'm asking. Um, I, I, I was reading a lot of religion and Christianity into it. I mean, you mentioned already the, um, the, the, the Christmas scene and uh, a baby being born. Uh, it's basically like baby Jesus here in this case. And uh, uh, we have uh, um, Ada with the, with the crown on, uh, on her head, basically a crown of thorns, but it's flowers uh, in this case and uh, resembling maybe a halo. Um, but also you have the different perspective um, here when it comes to um, this. This is maybe a little bit spoilery, but I mean, there's, there are rams in there. And um, I, I want to give too much away here for the people who haven't seen it yet. But um, there's also this this element of evil in there, uh, maybe even a devil's child in this kind of regard. Um, what was your take on this one? Is, did I did I get it right or <laughs> am I far off? I, no, I, I think. Uh... I think uh, everybody is right, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, you know, because we just uh, trust the audience to, you know, read out of it what uh, they think is there. And, you know, even though they, you know, just have a totally different opinion of what, what, what it's about, you know, mm -hmm. I, I really like that, you know, but, and I, I think, I should not tell people, you know, what is right or wrong. And, uh, you know, but we were working with uh, our folk tales. That is, uh, you know, it's uh, very similar to this religious stories mm -hmm. also. But but there is nothing right or wrong. So, you know, I, 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 I think it's totally up to you, you know, what... <laughs> What this, you know, what 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 it is about? Mm. Yeah, I mean, I I um, had this uh, even this experience with uh, when when Peter the br the brother comes in, and uh, it, it was kind of like he was the kind of snake in the Garden of Eden here and like tempting uh, Maria 
and I think that was really interesting to see, and uh, especially also with the with the words uh, lamb, the lamb of God, uh, we all sheep, like and the shepherd and stuff like that. So so it it, it made a lot of sense to me, but uh, it's it's really interesting um, uh, to to interpret a lot of ways into this movie. Um, that, is, uh, that is what I I really liked is you know when uh, you know for example what you are telling me I I really like listen to you know, what people, uh, what they read out of it. That is, uh, you know, what I like most. Yeah, I mean, the, the, I'm, I'm the same in this, in this kind of regard. I really enjoy um, talking about the movie and seeing what is in there. So um, th th that's why I also asked to, to get your perspective. And <laughs> uh, glad that, I, that I'm in the ballpark here <laughs> with what, what uh, you're trying to do here and especially what the mythology or the folk tales gave you. Um, my next question is more on the acting here. I mean, uh, you had uh, um, Maria's role is um, is like your grandmother was the foundation for Maria's role. Um, but how did you prepare all of your actors and especially Maria uh, since this role strikes close to home? Uh, you know, Numi and me, we we spent so much time uh, just talking about Maria. Because uh, Numi was working on another project and she only came uh, like one day before shooting. So we were just constantly talking about uh, how he should be. And, you know, Numi also grew up, you know, in Iceland, in the countryside. So, you know, she had uh, some, uh, uh, kind of, uh, you know, some something in mind, you know, how, how it should be. and. Uh, we just created Maria together, you know, mixed of, uh, yeah, you know, a lot of things that, you know, I, I, how I wanted to have her and also knew me. So, you know, when, when she came, you know, Maria was there. And also with Helvis uh, Naira and Björtlinu, we, we were just, uh, yeah, we were just talking together and and we talked about all the scenes and uh, that was uh, it was so nice and also you know this is my first feature film so you know uh, working with this all these amazing actors was so uh, great and they were also helping me out you know so mm -hmm. yeah I, I think I was extremely lucky yeah um, speaking of filmmaking um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, film um, the filmmaking scene in Iceland I mean it, it, it since the country is not as big as uh, uh, even as Hollywood or as uh, the European scene but is it how how's this I, I imagine an intimate scene there huh? but can you tell us a little bit more about it oh, uh, you know we, we have a amazing uh, Filmmakers in Iceland, you know, and because we are also doing so many, you know, there are so many projects coming to Iceland, you know, from all over the world to, to shoot in Iceland. So uh, there's a, you know, so many projects and, you know, we are used to work in so different uh, productions. So, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, and uh, it's very nice working in Iceland, and uh, you know, because we, yeah, I, I feel that we have a very professional uh, crew there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, if, like in every regard of filmmaking, you have um, famous Icelandic people that make movies and uh, um, make the music. Do I mean you, you started out in special effects as well um, on on bigger projects that that made it to Hollywood. Um, um, how how did this uh, Im impact uh, your your um, career as a filmmaker, as a director in this case? I I, I think uh, working in the film industry, in uh, you know, I've been in almost every department. Uh, mm -hmm. Is uh, so it was so good for me, you know, both just knowing uh, all the people and. Mm -hmm. uh, the, because you, you can learn something from almost every project you 
are working on films or commercial or yeah and then you know uh, the crew is almost like a, your second family because you spend so much time with them so mm-hmm. when I, I was doing glamp you know i felt i was so uh what do you say secured by you know the crew members because it was uh, almost all my friends and uh, yeah. yeah it was it was very good to have them there that sounds great um I asked this question last time I interviewed Julia Ducono as well, um, and I, I want to hear your take. Um, what do you like best about filmmaking? What's your favorite part of it, maybe, or how can you describe? Uh, it? You know, uh, uh, do you do you mean uh, you know what part of uh, part of uh, making a film uh, I like? Best or... Yeah, exactly. What what do you like about like you know you you start a project and. Uh, um, but in general, like every, every kind of project, uh, what's the best part? Uh, in I, I really like you know, when we are trying to come up with uh, the idea or you know the script, mm-hmm. and uh, working on sound is uh, I I love that you know that is uh, I I you know if I do another film I would uh, I would like to spend m- much more time on sound because I. Okay. Yeah, it's it's so much pleasure working on it. Yeah. Um, I f- I forgot to ask earlier a little bit here that um, g- g- when we talked about uh, your concept book, um, my question would be there is is this going to turn into a, a an actual book that can that people could buy? I mean, because I think that would be very interesting to see this behind the scenes and the making off kind of um, relationship. Well, I I don't know. You know, maybe maybe I should. I, maybe it's it would be better, you know, because I made like a storyboard for the whole film. I think that could be more interesting. So yeah, exactly. That's that's, that's what I'm talking about as well. I mean, A24 they are really nice in in letting us do that here, uh, especially in the states. But I hope so. We could have that here in Germany as well. Then. Yeah, I, I should think about it. It's it's a good idea. <laughs> okay, I'll 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 just take a book, not ten percent. So you're good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. I want to talk about the film poster uh, a little bit um, because I'm, I don't know, maybe you can see it in the background here. I'm, uh, I'm a collector myself. Uh, got a bunch of different movie posters here in, uh, uh-huh. in the background. They're all limited art prints. And a good friend of mine is Rory Kurtz, who uh, created the poster. And, and, and I talked to him the other day and I said, um, and he told me to say hi. And um, I was wondering um, how, how, what was your influence in making this film poster? Because I think it's grandiose and I, you can buy it via A24. So um, uh, I don't know, I think they, they ship it worldwide, but um, yeah. What was, what was your part in um, directing it? You know, I, I, I you know, the, I, I think it's, you know, almost all his idea, you know. I had, you know, I, I had made like a reference uh, uh, document, you know, what, but, mm-hmm. uh, you know, it's, uh, I'm su- super happy with it and I, I think it's so beautiful and, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, it's a, a it's a beautiful poster uh, and, you know. It is, it, it is indeed, it's, it's, I think it's uh, definitely in the, in the top 10 of this year's poster of the year what, what i like about it is also the color palette you know because uh yeah uh i think we have almost all my favorite colors uh, in that poster <laughs> <laughs> that's really great to hear um i have a question um on because the poster shows certain um shows something that so we don't know what's going on really but i mean people hear something about what the movie is about what's going on but I think the trailer is revealing a little bit too much here. It, was that your choice to, to reveal that? Because when I when I watched the movie, you you don't really know what's going on for the like first part or like the first uh, third of the movie. I, you know, I, for me, uh, I I tell everybody, you know, don't watch trailer or yeah, yeah. don't read <laughs> anything about it. You should know as little as possible for you, before you see the film. But you know, I'm uh, I'm not good in marketing, and uh, so you know, this is something that you know. It, it yeah, you know, 
I, I think there are pe people that know more than me uh, about you know how to sell tickets mm -hmm. in cinema. So, but you know, yeah, I, I think you should know as little as possible before you go to see this film. Yeah, I, I would definitely say uh, the same here. That's that's why I always like all my friends. Um, I told them, don't watch the trailer. Just go into it and see it. Yeah. It's uh, it's really <laughs> incredible. There's we we have a lot to talk about then. <laughs> Um, last question here. Um, I was wondering about the finale. This is this is this is a, 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 the ending of the movie. It's a little spoilery, so that's why I put it at the end here. Um, <clears throat> do you think there could be a, a sequel to this in terms of following maybe the mythical creature that we have here? And uh, is that something you would be interested in doing? I, you know, I, I've met so many people that really want you know want me to make uh, yeah like uh, three films but and but the next one should start in uh, yeah this uh, mythical world that you know uh, this yeah. creature live in and uh, you know I, I I think it's interesting uh, but you know I, I I'm not sure if if I should do it maybe maybe some somebody else should do it you know but you know it's uh, I, I think it's worth thinking about it you know it could but uh, all right yeah. that that sounds really good and I, I would love to see it because I, the the world you created is very uh, incredible and looks amazing so I think you should do it and nobody else <laughs> <laughs> because I want to I want you to see this through <laughs> uh, okay yeah thank you you're welcome thank you so much for taking the time and talking uh, to me about the movie and uh, yeah thank you for the interview Thank you so much and thank you for your questions and have a thank nice you. day. Bye. You too. Bye-bye.